Are you looking for a tool that can help find those missing small parts that seem to fall all over the place when you're working on something? Are you looking for a tool that can make that very small print even more readable? Stay tuned and I'm going to show you a tool you need to buy today. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to use the Nightage Endoscope in your smart home. And that's right, I did say Endoscope. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. Now here's what we're going to be talking about. First, what is the Nightage Wi-Fi Endoscope? Then we'll be dealing with getting it unboxed. And then we'll go talk about setting it up. And I'll give you a few examples of how I've already been using it. So let's get started. Well, this comes in a nice little box and it really is very much formed to function. So I'd have, all I had to do is cut the little piece of tape that was keeping it sealed. We'll get this opened. And as you saw from the initial video, that's really, for the most part, all there is to it. It has a built-in battery here that will last for about a half hour or so. It does take a little bit of time to recharge it, but nothing that's a problem there. And this has a built-in cable, I'm not built in, but an included cable so that you can have a charge it in case you have no cables that will fit that. Now here's the piece that you want to keep very close eye on. This little tube has the, all the three ends on it. This one lets you see a 90 degree angle. This one has a magnetic end to it. So you're, if you're trying to pick up like that small screw, you don't have to go hunting it with this and then go pick it up. Or if you're trying to grab a piece of wire or something that's got a little bit of a substance to it that you can hook it with this, then you have that as well. And then all that's left in the box is the instructions on using it and a different guide for basically telling you the, the same thing. So it's very straightforward to, to go through. Now, the nice thing is they do have the QR codes in here to get the apps for this. So you don't have to go hunting through the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Let's get on to getting this little puppy set up so we can both be starting to use it. Okay, I've already switched over to my Samsung phone. And I'm as I turn away slightly, I had to go grab the manual so I could scan the QR code. So let's go ahead and we'll open the camera app. And we'll make sure that I'm scanning the QR code for Android because I don't think it would like the iPhone version too much. And even though you do that, it still takes you to the same site. So we'll say Android and it takes you to Play Store. OK, so that's good. We'll tap install. Shouldn't take but just a moment to get this installed. So it's already gone from downloading to installing pretty quick. So this is the nice thing with the Nightage is it has its own app. I've this is about the third generation I've had on this one and it's the others I had to go find. Okay. So we need it to allow. Okay. That's fine. Of course. Now see, there is nothing at this point, so that's to be expected. So let's go back out here and we can see the apps already installed on there. So we'll turn on the Nightish device. I'm not even going to undo the cable at this point and you see it when you turn it on the there's a little button right here that controls the brightness and you see there's two little lights there so you will need to attach the phone or connect the phone rather to the wi-fi that is built in to there it is there's nightage right there so we'll tap on nightage and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll, there we go. It just had to want to work. Okay, so now that we've got attached to the Nightage, we'll clear our screen. We'll go back into HD Wi Fi. 
And as you can see, we've already got an image. So, and this is just with it coiled up, but I'll just bring it right over the instructions. So, you know, it's a, I'll, I'm holding this about uh, maybe two inches above the instructions. And you can sit there and rotate the screen. So if you want to have it appear in a different orientation, you can. Or you can keep it like this. Now you have the ability to completely flip it around, which is nice. So that way, depending on how you're holding this, this is going to be a very easy. But you can see it's very straightforward to, to work with. And you can turn up the light. So if you're in a fairly dark area, you can turn it up, but only as much as you need to. Now, something I do want to make sure we talk about is this is called semi-flexible. If you've had any dealings with fiber optic cabling, do not put tight bends on this one. Because if you bend it at, say, like a 90-degree angle, you're going to put kinks in here, and ultimately this is going to get to where you're not going to be able to unbend it or work it around. So I'm looking for a good storage case on this one. So just try to keep this to where it's always here in a circular manner, and you don't try to you know, do kind of a short bend to it and just store it like this, and this is going to be something that will, I think, serve you for a long period of time. This is, like I said, less than, than $30. The advantage of this is there's several things, and I'm going to show you some clips right after this segment where you can see how I've been using it and th doing things like getting serial numbers. Because one time at a company I was working for, we had a piece of equipment in the rack. I called the manufacturer. Well, that's not our serial number. That, that's not our product. Well, I happen to have a, the early version of this, I went in, used this because it was equipment buried back into an equipment rack, got a picture of the serial number and, it, and where it had their logo and everything on it, emailed it to them, and I said, so this is not yours, huh? Yeah, I got support on the product. So there's times when this is going to be handy, especially if you're like me and you don't always get the serial numbers written down when you put things in place. So let's go on to a few examples, and you'll see why this is something that would be good to have in your smart home toolkit. Okay, as you can see, I'm right behind the TV. This was not easy to get to. By the, you can tell that by the amount of cobwebs and dust that's back here. Trying to get this information is going to be a little bit of a challenge because there's not a lot of room back behind here to grab this. So now let's switch over and we'll show you getting it with the endoscope. Now we're looking at the still picture that the night edge endoscope got and while it's not totally clear and that's basically my fault because i didn't have a good place to stand but at least it gave me an easy way or an easier way to get the serial number in the exact model type so when you need to document stuff for insurance purposes or you're just trying to make sure that when you tie it into a streaming receiver or any other home stereo type device that you've got the information you need, this at least gives you a way to know you don't have to go digging behind the TV for everything. Oh, now this is probably about as close as you might be able to get if you were trying to get the information off of the bulb, such as serial number, MAC address, and so on. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. So it means you'd have to get up on a ladder probably take the ball down. I mean, yes, there's other ways you can get some of the information, such as the MAC address, but when you're needing to physically confirm, then you're going to have to pretty much go up there and get your hands dirty. Now, there's another way to do it, and this is where we're now going to switch over to the Nightage endoscope. A little bit of a challenge to read, but at least it gives you somewhat of an idea of what you're looking at. Well, now you've seen two examples of what can be done with the Nightage endoscope. This is just not even hardly scratching the surface with what the possibilities are. If you've got somebody who works on 
their own car, if you've got a trace down wiring that's in a wall, if you've just got to see maybe if that screw ended up under that innocuous chair leg that you swore you checked already, there's the sky's the limit for what the endage can do. So you get one today and maybe you might even get it before Christmas. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.